This video was taken with the help and cooperation of Steve Barker at the Fox Hall Inn, the award-winning pub and fish and chip restaurant on the A66 close to Scotch Corner in North Yorkshire. How many times have you lit the pan in the morning and seen the carbon particles formed during the previous day's frying oozing to the top of the pan? That's what we're aiming to get rid of today. We'll first have a look at the internal parts of the machine. The filter support mesh, the separator mesh, the filter frame, the outer ring, flexi scraper, super pad and T-bar. We'll now fit the primary filter, the top filter, into the filter frame. Place the filter frame into the outer ring, don't push it straight down, you may tear the filter and then ease the outer ring around the filter frame. We'll now fit the internals of the machine. First of all the filter support mesh goes into the bottom. On top of that goes the super pad. There's a rough and a smooth side, it goes rough side up. Take note the position of the tab to remove the super pad because we don't want to push that down with the top filter. On top of that in the centre goes the filter separator mesh and then on top of everything taking care to go against the tab position the filter frame into the machine then the T-bar holds everything securely in position We're now going to check the temperature of the oil or the fat before we start to filter. The optimum filtering temperature is approximately 150 degrees centigrade. We're now going to scrape down the sides of the pan, the batter scraps that are formed on the side of the pan, scrape it down into the oil, ready to be sieved before filtering commences. This is also a good time to make sure that the main heat to the pan is turned off before emptying commences. This is very important. We're now going to give the pan a good skim to take out the larger particles before filtering. Next we're going to take our first sample. This is the sample of the oil or the fat in the pan before filtering commences. We'll just put that up in the top box and carry on with the operation. The filter machine should have been on heat for approximately 10 to 15 minutes depending on the time of the year to melt any solid fat that is resident in the pump and the bottom pipe work of the machine before we start. We're now going to place the nozzle into the corner of the pan and switch the machine on to pump. The green light will come on and we turn to extract. The machine will extract the main body of the oil in just over a minute. When we get down towards the bottom, the nozzle starts drawing air and oil at the same time and we go back to it to encourage the remainder of the oil in the pan into the machine. Finally place the nozzle in the corner and use the wide bladed scraper to bring the remaining oil or fat into the nozzle to empty the pan completely.
Once the pan is totally empty, we can bring the nozzle back into the machine and switch the machine off. Now we can wipe out the bottom of the pan with a dishcloth to remove any of the carbon sediments that are still on there. All done. We're now going to come back to the machine and switch on to filter return just for a few seconds while we take our second sample. The filters we're using are single pass filters so we don't need to recirculate the oil within the machine for any more than about 30 seconds before it's returned to the pan. So the machine's in the off position now. Second sample up the top with the unfiltered sample. Now we'll bring them back down the bottom and compare the two samples. What a difference. We're now going to return the rest of the filtered oil back to the pan. This should take no longer than a minute or so. Coming back now to look in the machine as the remainder of the oil goes back into the pan and the machine becomes empty. Switch the machine into the off position now. We'll now remove the filters and see what we've taken out of the pans in a day's frying, one day's frying. This was filtered completely yesterday and the same amount of sediments were removed. Out comes the soup pad. The best way to remove the top filter is to tap the outer ring with the wide bladed scraper. I would normally do this directly into a bin but as I want to show you what's on the filter we'll do it onto a sheet of wrapping paper. Now there is the amount of carbon on the top filter. And we need to go around now and have a look at the super pad. We tear a little piece off and you can see this is where the cloudiness, the suspended particles are. And this is what keeps the oil clear every day. If used on a daily basis, the Merlin filter machine will keep fresh oil or fat fresh for longer. Greatly improving and extending its life and greatly improving the quality of the product that's fried in it. Take a close look at the samples and decide for yourself which you would prefer as a customer to have your fish and chips fried in. It doesn't take a lot of working out.